the word digestion mean? Breaking down, making something smaller. There are two ways you can do that, mechanical and chemical. Alright, now obviously I didn't eat my Weetabix dry, that would be very good. I had some, some milk with it, okay. So I better add some like milk to this, and uh, add a cup, cup of coffee as well. Cup of coffee, so I better add some coffee in there, okay. So in my mouth, that's, <laughs> that's what I had for breakfast, okay. Lovely, right. And what was going on was mechanical digestion, okay. Mixing it all up. Yeah. All right, and actually this is amazing. So before you even swallowed your food, it has completely changed, okay? Two types of digestion have already happened. You've already churned it up with your teeth into very small parts, and you've already added some enzymes. Whoa. They are breaking down carbohydrate, they're breaking down starch, and they're turning it into smaller sugars called maltose, all right? Fine, stage one of digestion. Lots of stuff happened. Where does the food go next? It goes down the esophagus. That tube that runs from your mouth down to your stomach. Right, your stomach essentially is a bag. Right, that's what I'm gonna to use to model it today, a bag. It's a bag made of muscle. And if you could open up the inside of the stomach, you find that it's all got these folds inside it, these rough folds inside it. And there's a reason for that, as, again, okay? So, oh. just stick it in. Okay. So, this, I'm doing the job of the esophagus here by transferring the, the um, partially digested food from my breakfast into my stomach. Okay. Okay. Your teeth started the mechanical digestive process in your mouth. Now, this bag is going to carry that on. Your, the stomach actually churns the food. It churns the food. It keeps mixing it all together. Okay? And down. So we've got chemical digestion happening again. All right, and you have some other enzymes in your stomach, so I better add a few more enzymes. And the enzymes you have in your stomach, we haven't covered these ones, but these, the ones you have in your stomach are specifically to digest protein. What else is inside your stomach? Acid, acid, okay? So we better add some acid as well. Okay, what, is the, what does the acid do? Okay, the job of the acid is actually to kill any bacteria. All right, acid is, this acid is hydrochloric acid, pH one, it's a pretty strong acid. And there may be some bacteria on your food, okay? In fact, there will be some bacteria on your food and you don't want to start absorbing them into your, into your body. Anybody know what, where it goes next after the stomach? Small intestine. So your intestine is this amazing long coiled tube, okay? It's all raveled round inside here. You know, when we, call, when we talk about your guts, that's what we're really talking about here, your intestines, okay? And the reason it's long is because as the food travels down it, we're gonna start absorbing. This is where absorption starts happening. So at this stage, we still haven't used any of our breakfast yet. Okay? We still haven't got it into our blood. We still can't use it for anything. We can't use the carbohydrate for energy. We can't use the protein to build any more cells until we get to the small intestine stage. And what we do is we, we add more enzymes. This is where the pancreas comes in. The pancreas is now going to inject uh, down the pancreatic duct, lots more enzymes, okay? Enzymes to break down protein, enzymes to break down fat, or lipases, enzymes to break down sugars, and lots more chemical digestion is now gonna happen here. We've pretty much done all the mechanical digestion we need to, but now we need to use the chemicals in our body the enzymes to break this food down into really, really small parts, into individual fatty acids, into individual sugars, into individual amino acids, and then we can start absorbing it.
food, which is now pretty digested, starts moving into your small intestine. All right? And your small intestine, again, has got muscles. It's made of muscles, okay, smooth muscle, which it starts this process called peristalsis. Now, peristalsis is muscular contraction. So over the next hour or two, that food will be squeezed along the small intestine, bit by bit by bit. As it squeezes, okay, all the good stuff starts coming out, okay, and it goes into the blood. So you can see this, this is now, because we've got some, so much digestion happening, you can see all the stuff that's on my hands, that is, that is the food is now broken down small enough to pass through the wall of the small intestine into the blood. So the small intestine is surrounded by blood capillaries, and all of this is going to start being absorbed into your blood. It can then be taken round the whole body. Now, it reaches the end of the small intestine, and where does it go next? Okay, where does it go next after the small intestine? A large intestine. Okay, we're reaching the towards the end of our journey now. And what happens in the large intestine is, by this point, pretty much all the good nutrients that we want have been absorbed, okay? Pretty much all the nutrients have been absorbed. What happens in the large intestine is the absorption of water, all right? That's the only thing that gets absorbed in the large intestine. So as the food travels around the large intestine, which is kind of around the outside of your guts, it will travel around, goes around the top, down, okay, curls around to form the rectum at the end, okay? And the last parts of absorption will happen all of the water gets taken out, okay? You don't really want too much water to be egested in your feces, so we absorb all the water. And all we're left with at the end is the undigested food, which is mostly fiber. All right, remember when we mentioned fiber in our balanced diet, and we said, what do we need fiber for? And we said, well, we need it to help with digestion, okay? Fiber is, allows the food to be, to be passed, squeezed, but by peristalsis all the way through the digestive system. And finally we get to the end, okay, where your feces is stored in your rectum. The feces is stored there, and um, when you get enough of it, you get that urge that you need to go to the toilet, your anus will open, okay, and the final waste, okay, will be digested, okay, or defecated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty realistic. Just coil one on. Oh, no. Coil it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then that is the end of the digestive journey, okay? That's what you get left with at the end. All right. Cut our way around the eye. Now it's important to do this little cords, little strings, these are little tendons and these are attached.